from declining incoming calls while you're doing research, amazing multitasking tools. The dynamic island is by far the best iPhone feature that's found on basically modern day iPhones. That's not natively available across other third parties. Like this, for instance, this is my second most favorite phone. I sometimes switch between these two and it's not available on my Android phones, unfortunately, only on an iPhone. So let me break down all the amazing things that the dynamic island can do because I know for a fact was over a million iPhone users out there around the world, very few are familiar on how to actually use it to its full potential. For starters, the benefit with Dynamic Island, whenever I dock my phone to charge, it gives me direct feedback when charge is being delivered. So I don't have to get super close to the screen to make sure I see the little green indicator. Turn green, Dynamic Island does that cool animation. And then when paired with a compatible earbud, either Beats or Apple's AirPods, when you put the device in your ear and it connects, you get direct feedback right there confirming that they are indeed connected. In addition to that, if I repeat the process and I go ahead and do the exact same thing, if you long hold while the status right there gives you more additional information on the product. And then during a phone call, if you accept the call and you just move it up like this, you'll see the audio waves of the phone call, right? But then if you long hold, you have quick access to put the caller on speaker or hang up directly, or if you decide to long hold again, it will take you directly to the phone app. This works across other apps as well. And for any information that's on the dynamic island, if you do a swipe, it will actually hide it and you could reverse the swipe to bring it back. For instance, if I go ahead and launch a third party music app this time, not the native one from Apple, like YouTube Music as an example, if I hit play, lower that down for a bit, on the top, I actually can see the album artwork showing me that something's playing in the background. And if I do a swipe like I was showing you earlier, I can hide it or repeat the process. Regardless if it's first party or non first party, because if I go ahead and go on Apple Music and repeat the same process, it does the exact same thing. I love the fact it's universal. So non Apple Music subscribers can also benefit off of this. So if the dynamic island ever becomes annoying, it's good to know you could just hide it away if you need to. And then again, any app, you could do that to have additional shortcuts, airdrop ability, or tap again to take you to that app entirely like it did with the phone app I was showing you earlier. Now these next ones are really amazing. But before I get started on those, if you can take two seconds to hit that like button, a like, that'd be truly appreciated because I like to keep these videos sponsor free from any integrated ads and such that you've seen because I'm personally kind of getting tired of them. So thank you for those that took the two seconds to just hit that like button and aiding to keep my channel powered by the viewers, not from brands. And then new for iOS 18, of course, if you launch control center and activate the flashlight, the torch basically, you now have this new indicator. And yes, again, we are multitasking as we have two things going on at once. But with the flashlight animation, you could also increase or widen brightness as well as increase the brightness or dim it down all with this cool amazing dynamic island animation and if you have a timer going off like this and we turn off the flashlight and we exit out of here now we have two things at once if you have two apps running at once by doing this you could switch them or close it all entirely let's go ahead and end this timer real quick and and this because another thing i like to show you is in control center if you start screen recording you also will see a countdown right there when the screen recording will take action and once you're done you could tap and end the recording from here without having to go in control center and then in case of emergency if you do need to use sos for emergency satellite text messages in case reception is down like what recently happened during these hurricane tragic events unfortunately but with that dynamic island, it's able to give you satellite information right above without you having to switch between different apps to make sure you are constantly staying connected while you're communicating via iMessage. And if you do a lot of voice recording, you can just let it record and you'll see your audio wave feedback right there, making sure that everything is working properly in case you have a third party mic hooked up to your iPhone. Of course, you can just tap to go back and end the voice memo recording right here and if you have home pods or compatible third-party speakers if you walk by it the dynamic island will give you feedback allowing you to quickly connect to whatever audio you're listening to from your iphone speaker to external audio sources by a simple tap and now i don't even have to be in the same room or ask siri to verbally change the track when i could just tap once 
and quickly have access to all my media controls, including external speaker sources. Even smart locks work really well with the Dynamic Island as well, as it's an excellent tool to give you real-time feedback when a product is working properly. And if you ever use Apple Maps or Google Maps, direction, termite turn directions will also be displayed on the island automatically. And you can maximize it to see more additional information. And then if you ever use Uber, Lyft, or anything that requires a mobile progress status like Domino's or Starbucks, in real time, the Dynamic Island will be able to show you your progress on how your order is doing and when it's ready for pickup. Even works at Best Buy too. And then if you'd like to monitor your favorite game sport score that's going on live, Dynamic Island can also display that as well without an Apple TV Plus subscription. And to set that up, it's not in the Apple TV app anymore. It's all can be done in the Apple Sport app, which is also free to use. And here's where you can monitor all your favorite like sport teams from the different categories you have done in the past, from different leads to your teams. And if you tap edit right above here next to your profile, this is where you can actually manually search up like your favorite sports, teams, or even players that you like to monitor. And then on the very side over here, it's mixed with every different category you could think of, MBL, MLS, NBA, women's college basketball, WNBA, and it just goes on and on and on. And if you tap the arrow on one of them, this is where it will break down to each team of that category. And then just tap the favorite and he'll be bookmarked. So whenever favorite team, favorite sport starts playing, the dynamic notch will automatically start tracking the score progress right there without disturbing you. It's really amazing. And you can also monitor yesterday playoffs as well as take you back to Apple TV where you do have the ability to actually watch them sometimes for free. And upcoming and upcoming, you can see the upcoming time schedules for them as well. And you can also tap to see more different information all for free again, which is kind of awesome. Even will tell you the location where the game will be hosted on the arena name and such. And then there's amazing third-party apps like Rocket as an example, which will give you real-time information on performance numbers of your iPhone if you're into that type of data. And based off all that, it's obvious that the Dynamic Island is definitely Apple's nice secret weapon currently, which will easily enhance everybody's iPhone experience. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the Dynamic Island? Is there a feature we might have missed and overlooked? Feel free to comment down below if there is one that you'd like to share with everybody else. In fact, if you have some app recommendations, feel free to also comment down below, as I think that's a great idea to make a future video breaking down all the best apps, third-party apps you can download that'll give us more cool usage on new ways we can start using the Dynamic Island to its full potential. So if you're excited for that video, make sure you are subscribed for the top amazing third-party apps that take advantage of the Dynamic Island. Thank you so much for watching.